Broken bones, back injuries, and burns are just some of the injuries that workers, especially construction workers, suffer on the job. And research shows that not all job sites put their workers' safety first. And unfortunately, most injured workers don't even realize there are workers' comp laws in place that could provide them with additional benefits for surgeries and medical needs. Hard hats and work boots aren't always enough to keep people safe on job sites. In fact, in 2006 in the U.S., more than 5,700 workers were killed and hundreds of thousands more injured while on the job. People doing road work on the highway are the most frequent victims, accounting for one out of every four fatal work injuries for a total of 1,329 deaths in 2006. Here's a closer look at more of the numbers from 06. More than 800 people fell to their deaths. 184 of them fell from rooftops. 583 workers were fatally injured from being struck by objects. And 201 workers died in fires and explosions. The most dangerous industry in 2006 was the construction industry, accounting for 1,226 deaths and nearly 500,000 injuries nationwide. It's staggering, but about one out of every five workplace fatalities is a construction worker. The law states that a worker has the right to a safe workplace, and if a work hazard exists, an action is not taken quickly. An employee should contact an OSHA area office immediately to file a complaint. The employers and their insurance companies have a long list of, uh, of things that they're supposed to do to, to protect the injured workers and make sure that they're getting the type of medical care and attention that they receive. It's extremely important to make the job site as hazard-free as possible because even though workers' compensation benefits are designed to provide workers with financial support for medical bills and a portion of lost wages following an on-job injury, it's oftentimes difficult to get the compensation you deserve. Most people don't even know how the system works and aren't aware they could also be entitled to Social Security disability in addition to workers' comp. If you were injured on the job, one future surgery could ruin your family financially. That's why you may want to have the laws explained to you. A lawyer uh, who's experienced in handling workers' compensation injuries is the best situated uh, advocate for the claimant to make sure that the employer is holding up their end of the bargain, that they're doing all of the things that they're supposed to do on the injured worker's uh, behalf. Nationwide, the numbers show the construction industry accounts for 15 percent of all workers' compensation costs. Reporting for the EXP News Network, I'm Josh Talkington.